Welcome to Pokemon Theory. This is Johnny and today's topic on Pokemon Theory, we're going to talk about religion and Pokemon. Now, before we start this Pokemon theory, I want to mention that if you're offended by me mentioning religion and Pokemon, please leave the video. I'm not trying to offend anyone. Um, I'm just making references that the Pokemon series has had similarities with some religions. So, nobody, I'm not trying to offend nobody. I would do this in the most respectful manner that I can. So one of the first thing I notice in Pokemon and religion is one of the earlier episodes in the anime when Misty takes out a cross and points it at Ghastly. So what this made me think was basically that there was religion in Pokemon that people believe in God because she takes out the cross and believes that the Ghastly will disappear because in many places when the cross is play, uh, pointed at something it will disappear. And well of course it didn't but you know it was just a Pokemon Ghastly. So, it's just the thought about it that they had added this thing so it could be that many people in the Pokemon world do indeed have a god and you know they believe in religion as well in the Pokemon series. So for the next theory there has been a lot of Pokemon that have been religiously inspired. So take for example Garantina is supposedly the devil Pokemon, the renegade Pokemon, the rebellious and you know, Arceus is supposedly the god Pokemon of all Pokemon. So let's talk about a little bit about Garantina, why this may sound a little bit um, connection into him being the devil. Garantina is called the Renegade Pokemon in the Pokedex. Renegade is a synonymous with Rebellious. Garantina was banished to a different dimension for being violent. Satan is often known as the Rebellious one. He was banished by God to hell for leading a rebellion against God and the angels. Garantina in origin forms resembles a serpent and an altered form of Baslix. Satan takes a form of a serpent and a Baslix many times in the Bible. So when he's in origin form, Garantina has six wings, six bones, and six spikes. When the altered form, Garantina has six rib bones, six spikes, and six legs. The number of the devil is 666. So if you see something of that, it could be possible that Garantina had that inspired thing by the devil, especially by those horrible numbers. So yeah, that's pretty interesting when you look at that religiously inspired Pokemon. So for the next religiously inspired Pokemon is Superior, the final evolution of Sneevy. During the course of its evolution, Sneevy gradually lost its legs. At the start of the Paradise Lost, the devil looks like the rest of his fellow angels, with the notable exception that he is a fallen, since he has gone against God when he returns to hell from earth after tempting Eve and thus Adam in the guise of a serpent. He and the other demons receive their punishments, turning into snakes. So Superior has a dream world ability is contrary. So of course this is a little bit weird. And then the Japanese ability is named the Devil's Advocate. So if you can look at the similarities that they have that inspired thing. Superior name is supposedly the combination of a serpent and superior or warrior which although it's a bit stretched it might make sense. This makes sense since Satan is not only associated with the serpent but also the ruler and thus most superior being of hell. Superior is the grass type, although this is an indication that the name perhaps is serpent uh, association with the tree of knowledge. So as you can see that's quite interesting. Um, if you look at it, it makes kind of sense as well of the abilities names and everything. So that's another in religiously inspired Pokemon. So I hope I didn't offend anyone in religion and Pokemon. But those are some of the things that I found of references. And I know there is a lot more people that have found more references of religion and Pokemon as well. And that's not that's a true. There's still a lot more out there, I believe. Uh, but I don't want to mention them. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this theory. Also, if you haven't checked out some of my previous theories, make sure to click on the two boxes in the middle to go check out the ones that you want to see. They have titles in there and just click on them and they'll take you directly to the link.